prepared art with the Wimbledon tennis that's just started, I thought everybody's been eating strawberries and cream, wouldn't it be fun to make a little strawberry kawaii softy? Now this was made from my, jump, my son's old jumper, <laughs> from school jumper, and a bits of felt. And uh, yeah, it's a really cute recycled craft. Now we've made these strawberries before in miniature. We've uh, made them about this big and they're perfect for little key rings. I will link them up here and down below. So do check those out as well because they're a super cute craft. Alternatively, keep watching now and see how to make the giant strawberry softy. <laughs> I think it's really adorable. So come on then, let's take a look and see how our softy is made. So to make our strawberry, we're going to need um, some red fabric and I've got some um, felt bits and bobs here. We'll come back to those later. This red fabric is in fact my son's old school jumper. This is the back of it and I cut it, um, cut all the bits out. And um, to make a, a strawberry or a strawberry plush, you're going to need a semicircle. Now I don't have a semicircle that big or a plate that big. So what I'm going to do is I've tied a piece of string to a pen. I'm just going to check that it fits all the way around. That's probably a bit too long. And I'm going to, ideally I should pin it to the middle, but I'm just going to see if that fits. Yeah, you only need a semicircle and you only need a rough outline. So let's just check. I think we have our semicircle. Great. So I can now put this away and cut it out. Good scissors make all the difference with these kind of projects. Now, um, we're going to be sewing quite easily along here and along here. But if you want to, you can first sew on some seeds. Now, if you don't want to sew on the seeds, that's fine. What you can do is you can uh, take a pen and draw some on. But I will try and do some sewing. it is we fold it over so this on the outside and we're going to sew a nice strong edge along here um, let's just take some black wool for that not wool thread I want it to be nice and strong so I'm going to make my thread a double tie a little knot at the end and sew up I'm doing the back stitch which means I'm going back then over the front and this gives you a nice strong stitch. Um, I'll show you in the i cards up below and down below there's a nice tutorial on how to do the back stitch so where you can see it better because with this black or brown thread you can't see it very well so I'm going to speed this bit up once I've sewn this in the back stitch and you can um, see what next. we go now you can turn it inside out can you really see your strawberry coming together isn't that cute look at that <laughs> very excited okay now it's time for a running stitch a running stitch is when you go in out like a snake Again, I've got a really good video up here or down below where you can look at a running stitch. And you need to do a running stitch all around the outside. It is good to have a double thread because we're going to be pulling our running st stitch later and you want it to be nice and strong. So I'm going to do quite a, a broad one. So it's a good centimetre and a half between each stitch. I mean, it can be closer if you want, but a centimetre and a half should be okay. And um, I need to make sure that my... Uh, thread is long enough to go all the way around because you're going to have to pull it tight. Mm -hmm. 
Now before we get to the end, we're going to need some stuffing. So here's our stuffing. If you don't have stuffing, um, you can use parts of um, an old t-shirt or an old jumper. I also save um, all the cutoffs from um, you know, any wool that I do, or you could even use an old pillow if you've got one. Um, and that obviously you guys no longer need. Don't use a pillow that you do still need. They make great DIY stuffings. And look at that, it's already looking really cute, isn't it? So now I need, I'm pulling it tight, so that's where my running stitch comes in handy. And I'm just gonna finish this off and then we're gonna sew it shut at that end. So just by pulling it tight, you've created this lovely strawberry shape. Isn't that great? And now you need to just sew this tight. So to sew it, I am keep pulling it and then I've got it tight here. I'm gonna to go to the other side and just pick it up, pull my needle through and again hold it and again repeat. And then maybe do that one more time. So it's nice and tight. So this is nice and tight now, it shouldn't come apart. And because my thread is double threaded, it's nice and strong. Now if you want, you can just sew this shut, but to be honest, it's fine. Um, I might just do a couple of stitches and then we're gonna go and decorate our strawberry. So these just help keep it all together. Now knot it off by pushing it. So creating a little stitch and pushing it through the loop. And I'm gonna do that twice. adorable isn't it now it's time to add your um, strawberries leaves at the top so I'm going to fold this over and cut three um, leaf shapes so just to show one two three and that I'm going to put them like so on top of my strawberry and sew it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I've got a little, put a little knot at the end of my thread. I'm going to come in from underneath through all four pieces of felt just to make sure that they're all together. So I'm just making sure they're all together. Then I'm going to place it on top of my strawberry have a think about where your face is going to go, if you're going to put a face on. And you can then sew it into place. Again, this is just picking up some of the red fabric and then pushing through the green. I'm going to try and do a little like cross pattern. So there's a stitch going across. I'm going to do one that way now. And again, when you come back down, like a little button, make sure you get some of that red fabric so it sits on it nicely. And now I'm going to go stitch round the green just for extra depth. Each time making sure I pick up some of the red fabric. take my thread underneath, do a little loop, push it through, do a second loop, push it through and then you can cut.
your basic strawberry is finished now all you can you can some people like to sew all of this down so if you want to do that you can you can also glue it down if you find that a little bit easier and then the last thing that we need to do is put on a huge face now for that we're just going to use some felt and some glue because it's a little bit quicker and a little bit easier so let's cut out some cute eyes Okay, you saw me playing around a little bit with where I might want to put the eyes. I think I found my spot. Um, and then you just glue it on. If this glue is going to work, <laughs> use good PVA glue, nice and strong to make sure it stays on. And then for the very last bit, just add a smile. with a pen. Isn't that adorable? So I might put some little eyelashes. Of course if you really love sewing you can sew these details on um, but I think a pen and some glued felt also does the trick. And there we go. You've made your own kawaii strawberry softy from an old jumper. Isn't that adorable? Okay, and then one last look at our little softy. Now you can see, actually I decided that I wanted some extra leaves. I only put three big ones. I put and added an extra three small ones. You can just glue them under or use a couple of stitches to secure them. But there you go. That's our little strawberry softy for Wimbledon tennis finished. <laughs> now, uh, as always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and see you again soon. Take care. Bye.